This interstitial video begins with a question. A question that is potentially rhetorical. This is what I see most crawler videos looking like. A camera follows a rig over a course. And it's not specifically my thing. My thing looks more like this. It's, it's something, I don't know, cinematic? There's cuts, and there's camera moves, and there's neat little angle changes, and it's certainly more difficult to record this way. A follow cam, if you can keep your subject in the field of view, is much easier to do. It's, it's one and done. This is more work. I genuinely prefer this. It, it, it seems more visually interesting, at least to me. But most of what I see looks like this. There's movement, but is this more engaging? Should I be focusing on something that looks like that when I genuinely prefer something that looks like this? And sure, not to wax too philosophical, but every piece of art is on some level made for the artist, but it's also made to be seen. And I feel like the other videos, and I know I should never compare myself to other videos that I see, but some of those feel like here's a shot of a rig running a course, no cuts, no edits, follow cam, driving with one hand, and it gets seen by a lot of people. So, maybe I should be looking to find some sort of middle ground. Combine the two video sources. To combine the two techniques. And see if I can't make something, I don't know. I guess it's about engagement. Are, are people interested? Do people want to watch it? I, I find the process of pre-planning and laying out a route almost as much fun as driving them. The follow cam just feels like splitting my attention between two things and as I've established previously that's not something I'm particularly well suited for. So, I mean, I'm going to keep at it. I'll keep trying different layouts. But I, I don't know. I'm feeling with every step I take towards... expanding my abilities the more I keep falling back towards the, f the good old fixed camera, fixed shot. If anything, this, this little series of clips did teach me that don't try to do these with a waterproof case on the phone. It, it just puts you into an echo chamber and I left the audio unstripped, even though there's screaming kids and barking dogs and God knows what equipment going on. There's a dog that won't stop barking right now. I waited four hours in the hopes that he would stop, but that dog barks 18 hours a day. 
So the only change to the MST between its debut video and this one is I made some unintentional anti-theft uh, wheel nuts. I put 12 millimeter extended hubs on it and had to turn down a tool to get them to fit inside the hub. So uh, that's the only wrench that there is that will take those off. Anyhow, probably enough of that for this. I'll have another video up shortly with some better content on it. I just really enjoy driving this MST. It's, it's kind of that new car feel, you know. You get the new one, you just want to drive it all the time. But it being portal and it having an absurd amount of ground clearance seems even better suited to the course layout I have than even anything else that's here. So it will certainly be appearing in future videos. And that's, that's about all for this one. Like I said, it's an interstitial. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.